jumbo, jumbo wire. We're into some jumbos. Does it get any better than this anywhere? That's a good one. That's a slab. Nice slab there. Big, beautiful crappie. All right, one up, one down. Let that one go. Another giant. All right. Another slab. <laughs> Look at the size of that one, guys. They just get bigger and bigger. Nice one there. Big. Good one there, guys. Another giant slab. Smash best continues. Got him. Another good one there. Heat on him. Shoulders to him. Good one there, guys. That's a good one. Look at the shoulders on those things. Smashing these things. That one ate that Mickey jig. Got him. Just wailing on 15s all day. Okay. It's happening, guys. Going fishing again, looking for some crappie. Got the boys in tow behind me. We're on a new body of water to us. It's all about trying to locate them and find them. We're gonna use a live scope and we got five different guys here today. Three different live scopes, so we should be able to find something if they're here. All right, we got a little more depth. Big cabbage bed, weed bed. Staying about the same depth. We're still in that seven and a half, eight foot range. There she drops that way. Okay, drops that way pretty good. So we'll go that way. This is a new body of water to us. We walked on in a fairly large cove that ended up being really shallow. And what we did was every 50 yards or so, we drill a hole, deploy the forward facing sonar, which in this case is the Garmin Livescope 34. And we could see an easy 40 to 50 with that. So we'd look all around us to see if we could find a break. And what we're looking for is anything different than the shallow grass bay that we're in right now. So we're looking for either a channel or a drop off an edge or a trowel where those crappie are going to sit during those winter months like out over the deeper water they spend their real young life when they're small in the weeds and then the ones that don't get picked off by the predator fish like the bass and the pickerel find safety in numbers and safety in open spaces which is why you find them a lot of times suspended over deeper water out over open water too where they can get away from a predator or they can be the predators and find that fry or bugs or any plankton or any bait swimming by. There we go. So we've already drilled about five or six holes. We've got 11 foot. And we're several hundred, if not a thousand yards off shore now. And we're just getting to an area that has some deep water. Normally we would use mapping, but this lake doesn't have any mapping, so there's no navionics for it. There's no underwater topography, and there's no depth chart for it. So it's kind of up to us to find that. Watch those. See those on the edge? Yeah. See if they move. Yeah, that's crappy moving away from us. See it? 15 foot away right there. There's two fish on the edge right here, one there and one there. They could be big perch, they could be crappy. This is a little deep hole here. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. See something else right in there, 40 foot there. Out here? Yeah, or is that weed? No, those probably, they're fish. Looks like fish, 50 yeah. feet. Well, it's definitely like a first little deep hole to get you down 12 foot. Those are two fish at 55. They're moving. Mm -hmm. 55 that way you might hit that pole find out what they are at least looks like it drops down to 16 there does it look at these fish 25 away yeah you're at 55 they're still there they're up off the bottom now they should be catchable those are two pretty good marks they're at 65 now but there's still some fish in that 55 foot hole I think you just hit bottom, Kyle. 
They're like five feet past you. Not even. There's a bunch of fish there. Look at them all. Wow, we got a wicked school there now. They're at 45 and 55. You got them all over you, I think. There you go, he's on. He's hooked up? Yeah. All right, hooked up. We're gonna find out what they are. Say big fish? Wow. Yeah, there's a wicked school of yellows there if you guys wanna whale on them. Big yellow perch, guys. First guy to get his bait down got him. I don't know if these are all perch or what, but there's a pile of fish around. That's a nice size bluegill. All right, we got a bluegill, guys. All right. Nice job. Down she goes. Good size yellow. That's a good eater size. Oh, yeah. I'll eat them. I guess we're eating fish today at lunch. Yep, we got fish and then we have uh, sausages and peppers. Nice. All right. Oh, we shouldn't have thrown that bluegill back. Get another one, we'll keep them. All right, we're gonna do a little catch and cook today, guys. So pretty much any crappy under 12 inches, any decent size yellow perch that you can get your hand around, you know, in that 12 inch range, and any bluegill bigger in your hand, we're gonna cook up and eat for lunch. Wow, those gotta be perch. Those are bigger. Nice big ones coming. Get down to them, baby. Those look like good size. They might be crappy, actually. Look at that. They gotta be perch, huh? Oh, wow, holy smoke. I think it's fighting like a perch. The whole school's lifting. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Jumbo. Jumbo Tronics. We're going to eat today, fellas. Jumbo Tronics. Wow, and there's a school of them that size. That's over 12. Come on, baby. They're just moving so fast. All right, he sees it. They're just sliding through on me, sliding into my DMs. Like a 12 inch yellow perch. That's a nice yellow there. I got one more coming through. Let's see if he's, he's way late on the school. Oh, they're coming back. Look at this one coming in hot. That's gotta either be a nice perch or a bass. This feels jumbo. Wow, this is awesome. This is awesome. Jumbo Laya, another big yeller. Did you see him come flying in? Oh yeah, that was awesome. Big old yellow perch. Highfalutin yellows. They think they're special because they got all them stripes on them. All right guys, that's what we're into right now. We're into some jumbos. Those are probably 13 and a half. They're well over 12. We're gonna put a pile of those on the ice and have one heck of a feed for lunch today. Oh, that, holy oh nice there crappy. Is, there it is. Dude, look at this crappy. Oh. Well, we got a largemouth and a crappie. Yep. Bring that over. That's a staving crappie. Yeah, we got a largemouth, a perch, and a crappie on, all within 10 feet of each other, all at the same time. Look at that. We got to measure that crappie. He's over 14, I should say. Well, it didn't take too long to find him with a live scope, did it, fellas? You see them bluegill are running the bottom. And then the yellows are going wherever the heck they want. They're mostly coming to the bottom. Yeah, and then the crappie's mid column. The crappie just slid by on me. They're all that size. Because I just watched his. And luckily. And, and three crappie went by same size. Now I got something tiny. Took it out of his oh, so there's a bluegill coming at me, but the crappie saw it. I'm gonna try to keep it away from this bluegill so the crappie can eat. Nice crappie coming in. Look at the size of this one. Fishing, trying to catch these giants, but I keep getting phone calls. I have no idea. I know. <laughs> he's probably at the, he's probably at the lumber at the. Uh, oh, we got a double. We got a double. This is a good fish over here. What are you fishing for? Panfish. Kyle's got something good over here too. What? Bring that over here. He just caught a mega sucker. Oh my God! It's like a three pounder. I gotta go. I gotta go. <laughs> Bring that over to the camera. <laughs> I can't believe you caught that. What'd you get that on? Show that to the folks at home. <laughs> Guys, we are on like multi, multi, multi species right now. So we have largemouth, yellows, bluegill, crappie, and now we have a mega sucker. Uh, they're about the same. They're pretty. Yeah. Twins. Yeah. Well, also found a, you know, hanging out in this well this is, do you notice this is an actual hole, like yeah. a gully? Yeah. 
and it's got to hold the bait because every every fish is in here. Yep. Every predator is in here, so there must be loaded with bait. Oh, another nice crappie! Get him! Get him! He came off. <laughs> <laughs> that's a third. That's probably 14 and change. 14 and change. I'm about to get a bite here. Looks like a crappie. He was elevated. He was on it. There he is. Oh, Feels like a decent crappie. That might be a bass. Heads up. He's coming your way, Kyle. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Yeah, that's a bass. That's my first bass of the day. All right, nice little largey. He is trying, looking for the, uh, the droid we're looking for, right? Yep, he it, is. It took me a couple times to realize where that was coming from. These are not the droids we're looking for. Guys, we're fishing about a 17 foot hole and it's a bowl. We got we got all shallow weeds that way. It humps up that way and it actually humps up behind me too. So this is like a bowl or a little tiny basin where there's a pile of bait in here and there's every single type of fish is in here cruising around eating them. So there's big yellows, decent sized bass, huge crappie, huge suckers, believe it or not. And what am I missing? Oh, we, Kyle's hooked up something good over here. I was gonna say we were missing Kyle hooking up, so now we're good. Big, oh my god, that is a slab of a crappie. Let's get a measurement on him, bud. Oh, yeah. I, can say thank you. I got that one there coming through. Oh, you got another nice crappie. This one goes 15 inches. 15 inch, couple pounds. John's got a, you got an eater size if, if we want to eat any crappie. Got plenty of, we got plenty? plenty of John's got a, like about a 13, 13 and a half. He's 14 and a 14 and a quarter. This is Garmin's forward facing sonar. The numbers along the top of the screen are the distance away from me, me being the zero. And the numbers on the left side of the screen are the depth below me. You can see my jig bouncing at about 13 feet. And everything else is a crappie in the water column up off the bottom. At about 15 feet, there's some really nice ones close to me. So I'm going to pick up and move over to them. scope to get on top of fish. Big crappie. That's as easy as that guys. Just gotta stay on them. I got a whole school here just like that. Nice uh, 13 incher. Get him back. Switch that to down for you guys at home.
beauty of a crappie right there. Another in that 15, 16 range. Let's get him back. That's a bass coming in. Got a nice bass on me now. Oh, I lost him. Lost him. So now it's time to get back on the hunt with nothing under me. I could sit there over a whole old school like we used to and hope they come through and wait them out and catch whatever swims by or I could look around with a board base and sonar find them and then go try to catch them so there's one at about six foot that's moving around and that one I noticed at 10 foot looks like a really nice one up off the bottom in that midwater column they're a lot more susceptible and easy to catch when they're up in that column and that means they're feeding and when they're not feeding they're laying on the bottom so I just poked through you can kind of see it nine foot where the auger poked through I might have been about a foot short but I'm going to go try it anyway. Kick that mat right over there to kneel on and drag my gear over with the live scope. Transducer ready to go. Still in set and forward. And set it down. Look around. Nice. Let's look around. Hell yeah, bring it on. Hey, look around. Let people know you're here at least. All right, we're looking around and... You could see a bunch of fish like out away from me, but we're more interested in the ones directly under me. So there's my jig at about 11 foot bouncing. Oh, there's that fish at eight and a half foot down. So I reel it up to them. You never really want to get below these fish. There's rare instances where you want to get below them. And I'm just kind of adjusting the live scope since he's behind me now to see, like to get a little bit better view of him. So it, sometimes it does look like I'm below him, but for the most part, I'm pretty much in his face right now. Predator fish feed up for the most part. So you don't want to ever drop below them. You, so you want to keep it above them. You want to lift in front of them and kind of tease them up. And then as you can see, another one sliding in behind him. And anytime you get two fish together, they compete. And it's a lot easier to catch fish when there's more than one because they don't want to lose out on a meal, so they're eating something that they normally wouldn't. There's a swing and a miss, big cut, no contact. Second one saw that flutter and fall. I'm thinking this might be a cast master, so he saw that flutter like a dead fish, so he came over and ate it, and I missed him too. That one I moved quite a ways, gave him a yank, and in my haste, I dropped it down below the other one, so this is kind of like, not good. Luckily, that one stayed put. He's still looking. Kind of teasing him, teasing him up, twitching that thing. Yeah. There he is. There we go. Got him. Good crappy there. Yeah. Nice slab. You bringing them little ones over when I'm catching these? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's a good one. We got a, we got quad guys. We got four fish on at one time. Four out of five of us. That's the camera right there. They're all smasher crappy. These are all 15 inch range. And then hold it right up there, guys. So that you guys can see it. Look at these and then drop them right down my hole if you want. These are some masher crappy. This is about as good as it gets right here. Nice job, guys. Kyle, nice. Kyle's having a day. Those are the fish, dude. Not a bad lake so far, huh, fellas? How many of these holes did we walk over? Yeah. I think this isn't bad. 15 feet.
That's a good one. Good one there, folks. That's a slab. Nice slab there. Getting these big, beautiful crappie. As quick as we can get them. Alright, one up, one down. Let that one go. Another giant. Alright. That one, those two both ate that cast master, that copper cast master. Now they're in that 15 inch range. We're doing a little one up, one down right now. All right, got one coming up, got one going down. Oh, that one's fighting pretty good. Oh, broke me off. God dang it, that's not good. Got him. Decent one there. These are big crappy guys. Loosen the drag on that one. If that's a crappy, that's a good one. Might be bass. Gotta be a bass. Hoping it's a crappy. No, it's a crappy. It's a crappy. It's a nice one. Yeah, <laughs> look at that slab. That's another 15er. <laughs> look at that. Smoke that stubs. That stubs Z. Ate it pretty good. Smash best. Might be the best crappy fishing in the entire country right here, right now. That one is 15 and a half. 15 and a half inch going back. Pretty awesome. Let's find them again. There he is. Another good one. Big old slab. That is a meaty one there. Look at the size of that one, guys. Giant. Got that one on a rattling cast master. Purple and white. Giant. Jeez. This is unbelievable. Does it get any better than this anywhere? Anywhere? Crappy fishing? Just wailing on 15s all day. Got him. Another big one. Another 
another giant. These are awesome. Awesome, awesome crappie. Meaty. That's probably in the 14 and a half, 15 inch range there. Put it down. One up, one down trick on them. Get that thing rattling. We can probably let him go now. I like that. Yep. Quick as you let one go, you get another one. Another big one. That's that's more like an eater right there. That's a 13 and a half. I don't know, is it time to move when you're on 13 and a half, 14 inches? <laughs> There's a nice crappie there. Get him back. Got him. Got that one on the lift. Good fish here. Might be a bass. This one might be a bass. This one might be a bass. He's giving me he's giving me a fight. Oh, bring that over. That's a pig. I got a big fight here. I think I got a bass. I went down below the crappy. Might, might have been a bad idea. No, it's a crappy. It's a big crappy. You sure you want to bring yours over? <laughs> what a fight that gave me. That was awesome. Yeah, good, good one, dude. You can drop them right here if you want. That one's a yellow. Yeah, that's a 14 plus. Yeah. Yep. This one's in that 15 inch range right there. Good measurement on him just to get recalibrated. You get so many of these, you think you know what they are. Mouth shut. He is 14 and three quarters. So right in that 15 range. 14 and three quarters, it's time to move. We got to get back on those 15s. Let's see where we're going. We're gonna move. If they're not 15, you gotta move. Stay on them. Stay on them bigs. All right, there's some at 20, not a big school. Oh, that's a nice school at 25. They're all around. I kind of like that school though, at about 20, 24, 25. We'll go get them. Let's go get them.
りますけど。Good one. That one kind of ate straight up on me. I had to lift him into a bite. Yep. Another slab. Slab daddy. That one ate the cast master, that rattling cast master. I was wondering if that might be too big for him, but it's definitely not too big for him. Let's see if we can get one more before I gotta move. He sees it. Yeah, there's two seeing it, so we'll drop him back. Get a lift going. I like that twitch. That's a good one. Oh, that's a largey. <laughs> it's a largey. What are you doing eating? What are you doing eating my bait like that? Hopefully he doesn't screw up my school. Yeah, I got, I'm on a school. folks oh jesus he did not like the hole well Damn it. I really got to move five feet to catch these guys.
Oh, five feet moved and we're on the school. Nice one there. You want a nice one too, bud? Oh, what is this? Oh my gosh, good crappy. There was something swimming with it. Big. Look at that pie plate. That's just an absolute pie plate right there, guys. Sweet. 28 maybe. Twenty-five to thirty in that range. Yeah, you got them. Okay. They got my number. Somebody alive. Was that the hole that broke the camel's back? They, no, these guys are skedaddling. They're still on the screen, but he's coming in to eat. Good one. I just pulled that guy right out of his mouth. He's going to come back and eat it anyway. Hit it again. Usually you don't get more than two chances. That was a good one. I mean, they're all good ones. He's still there, third try. Got him. That one I missed three times. He's a thick slab. Thick one. He ate that little micro gas master. Good one there, guys. Another giant slab. Smash fest continues. All right, these guys are on the move. If you want, it's up to you. Okay. I got a nice school 15 feet this way. Ah, uh, do they hit that hole? They might hit that hole. I'll try that hole first. They're kind of on the edge of that hole right behind me. Yeah, they're still here. Oh, they did not like that jig coming into them. They're sliding. Last guy sees it. They just slid on me.
Yeah, there was only one that stayed. This is a big fish. Might be a bass. Was that a bass? I don't think so. Oh god, that's a big one. That's a big crappie. Yeah. That's a slab. <laughs> There's a slab for you folks. That was the last guy that stayed in the school. He's a, uh, he's a 15er. He ate that Mickey jig. That was actually my first drop with a Mickey jig today. Uh, tungsten jig that's got ears like Mickey Mouse and you can see he ate it pretty good. Just popped out. That's the jig there. That's a big freaking main crappy. Look how thick that is through the back. I mean, that's two, two plus pounds. Easy, easy. Let's see what he goes. I think I lost the school. Like, I think the school's figuring out what it means when they get a hole drilled above their head. He's right at 15, I think. Yeah, right at 15. With your mouth closed. Yep. And then it comes up this way. So we're kind of in a trowel here. You know, both sides it comes up. Yep. Those might be crappy there. They're, are they moving though? They're kind of moving. Yeah, 34. Yeah, they're already at 40. They're at the 40. They're at the 50. They're at the 60. <laughs> Touchdown. No, 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 they're going the wrong way, aren't they? <laughs> Say they moved. No, they're still here. Got him. It's a good one. Yeah, this school, this school's still fired up. That's a good one. That one ate that Mickey jig. Nice one there in the easily 14 and a half, 15 range. Let's drop back down before we let him go. Yep, they're still fired up. Got another one, let that one go, get another one. That's a big one. You want to snap a quick pick for me? A couple 14s right there, guys. Those are pretty sweet. Finding them with a the live scope. Where'd they go? There they are. Oh, look at that school. 20 feet. That one. That one right there. Got him? pretty awesome. Guys, I had a school that moved on me 20 feet away and I already had this hole here so I pitched to it from back there and watched all my electronics. I caught this fish from standing over there. Look at the size of that crappie. I pitched in from back here and got him. For uh, smallmouth. Yeah, that's what they call smallmouth candy. Got him. Whoa, whoa, what was it? Oh. He no. gave me a hell of a run right there. That was a decent. 
You hit that, they gave me one hell of a run. That was a good one. Oh, got him again. Different one. If you want to get it, it came off. Took one off. One more try. There's still one on the screen. John's he got on. it on the drop. I, I saw he was running over here. Oh my god. Because he wasn't even on the screen. Oh, They're not far away. They're staying right here. 20 that way. 20 that way for one of the schools. Right towards that white covered boat. Yep. Call it, eight, call it 18 feet away. Amazing how little you have to move to catch these guys. Any fish we've been after this week is not been staying like that. Yeah, these ones probably don't get fished too hard. So we missed them by a little, but they should be within striking distance. Oh, I just saw you drop in Gnome, I think. Yep. Yeah, because you're 20 feet away from me. The school goes from me to you. Oh, you missed it. Wee little laddie. Got him. This one doesn't feel big yet. Now you just got a lot bigger. Another good one there. Got that one on the Mickey. All right, there's some fort, Wicked School 40 behind me. Yeah, we got a whole one up here. Oh yeah, here they are, guys. Or there's a school here, at least. Yep. Got him. Easy. Man, they got, they pull. They pull as hard here as I've ever seen anywhere. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't hurt when they're that size. It's because they got, they got so much meat on them, shoulders to them. You know what? Look at the size of that one. That's a bruiser. Yeah. Got him. Oh, he yeah, this overcast turned them back on. It shuts the lights off. They're wicked uh, low light feeders. About to get them. That's a good one. Crazy or what? I think that was the last one in the school. 15. 15? Yeah. Nice. Thanks, buddy. All right, another 15 incher, guys. Smashing these things. That one ate that Mickey jig. Had a nice up bite on it and crazy fights because they're so thick. These are two pound, two and a half pound fish. They're, they're no slouches. Get him back. The key is staying on them. As you can see, I'm, I'm basically running to get to these fish. There's a wicked school out there. There's two schools. There's one there at 20. We don't have a hole there. If anybody wants them, go get them. Those are some bigs. And there's another school right on that edge at 50, 40, 50, which we might have a hole out there already. 
We worked these fish earlier today and the sun came up and shut them down at 9.30, at 9.30 a.m. shut them down. Uh, you wanna be 28 this way. 25, 28. Yeah, right there, yep. Yeah, you hit them, perfect, those are big ones. Get them. The other ones, let me see if they're still there. The other ones are moving there. Huh, I don't have a great mark on them. They're like 70 now that way. We could probably let those other ones go. Focus on some closer ones here. Oh, nice school behind me at 20. Do we have a hole? We don't have a hole here, but there's nice school at 20. Oh, they're back this way now. Wicked school. 20 feet this way. 20, 20 25. Uh, right to Dan's right. They're suspended good. They're ready to eat. I mean, you could put one hole at 18, one at 27. Oh, there's another school past them too. So go 25, do one hole. Go to your right one. Yep. Yeah. 25. I mean, they're at 18 if you want to poke a hole for one of these guys. CJ, keep going to 50. Go to 50. Go to 40. Five. No, 50. Are you a 50? No, I, I got a piece. Here, I'll give you a mark. I'll give it to you, hold on. Thanks. God dang it, I wanted these ones. Here they are, 20. I mean, we might have a hole there. Got him. Yeah, eight inch hole. That ain't coming through. What is that? That was a nice crappie. Look at the size of that one, guys. They're just getting bigger and bigger. Wow, that was nice. That's long. Yeah, that's 15 plus. Look at that one. That's a nice fish. I don't care what you guys say, that's a nice fish. That's a minnow. Come on. A Moby Dick was a minnow too, at one point. And Grizzly Adams did have a beard. <laughs> All right, 12 incher. I didn't know they had them in here 12 inches. Time to move, fellas. Yeah, he might be 13, actually. He might be, yeah, he's probably 13. There he is, yeah, it's probably 13. Get him back, see if there's another. 
guys, I hope you are enjoying this smash fest as much as I am. Is this the best crappy fishing in the world? I don't know. We've all iced a bunch in that 15 class range. We're about to eat a big lunch here on the ice. What are we gonna have, fellas? Uh, we're gonna have some uh, pan seared perch and crappie. Wow. And then we're gonna have some sausages and some peppers and uh, hoagie rolls. <laughs> like them to the it doesn't make any sense. No. Like them to the I like it. <laughs> you think Dan have a good day? Oh yeah. How many bass do you like earlier? We didn't get many on camera. 12, 13. <laughs> right in one hole. <laughs> this is a bass bass. I've never heard that. Yeah. Fishing. Yeah. John, yeah. what have you been doing? Oh, I've been icing a few crappies, some yellow perch, and now I'm cooking up a good shoreside and, or ice meal. Can't be a short side now. Top side one. Top side. Yeah. Kyle, what have you been doing? Catching some crappy and perch. Nice. You got some big ones of both. Yeah. And a sucker. Yeah. Yeah. I think you're winning the species. How many species have you caught? Bass, yeah. sucker, oh, crappy. Oh, you Did bass. you catch a sunfish? Uh, a sunfish? Bass, a bluegill? Crappy. Bluegill. Sucker. Sunfish. Sucker. Five. Yellow perch and some crappy on the grill. Looking pretty darn good here. It's starting to crisp up and lighten up a little bit. I'll go over the lures with you guys in a little bit, but the technique today has been running that live scope down. I mean, CJ will tell you, it's crazy that you can not catch these fish and be within five or 10 feet from them and find them with a live scope set over five or even eight foot. And then all of a sudden you got a smash fest. Isn't that unreal? Yeah. Yep. Move five feet, catch four fish out of one hole. Yep, that's all you gotta do is just move five feet. If, once you find them on the live scope and you know we, we're finding them long distance this is all of our first time out here ice fishing for these panfish so we didn't have a spot where we knew they'd be we had you know we did a little bit of map study and figured like the general basin and we came out and what what we found was a big grass flat it was too shallow for what we were looking for so i was drilling every 150 yards and then looking you know 130 feet ahead with the live scope and we actually walked past these fish drilled and i was like oh there we go we got some depth here turned it around, looked back and said, yeah, we got some fish back there. And then we just commenced to hammering on them. And then we just fine tuned it as the day went by. You know, we moved a little bit here, here and here and just kept on different schools. What there is is about probably eight different schools of crappie out here. They're all ranging the same size. You'd think you'd find one that had like megas and one with smalls, but they're all the same size. And they're, they're on this trowel. I call it a trowel because what it is is great big flat behind me, flat out there flat out there and I thought this might just be a, a big hollow like bathtub basin but what it is is a trowel that kind of runs in and comes in and funnels to a point right on the end of that grass pad. You have bluegill, shiners and tons of bugs coming out of that grass and coming into this deeper more oxygenated water and that's where the, the big fish are. They're more comfortable out here in this deeper water and suspended and they're chasing down the, the bluegill, they're chasing down the pumpkin seed, the baby perch and the shiners out in this little trowel here and they got them kind of funneled in with edges you know they're running them off the edges and that's what we're doing we're just hammering on them inside that trowel a little spicy just put a bunch of cajun seasons in there nice. oh did you put his cajun in there oh, okay. all of it all of it <laughs> james like i'll put it all in there <laughs> it's going to clear out your sinuses gentlemen so you like this oh yeah nice what's your favorite to eat Probably white perch and crappy. Yeah. I know. I was after that yellow perch, but I'll eat crappy. Yellow perch is underneath Wow. Yeah. 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 Nice. Yeah, you got that feature. This is a big one. Yeah, no horse from near the hole. That's a staver. Nice. I knew that was going to be a good wow. one. Nice. That might be one of the bigger ones of the day, huh? Yeah, we'll get a Oh, what do you think of that? <laughs> Give you a good hit? Yeah. Good fight? Yeah. This guy might have been That's caught. probably your PB, 15. Yeah, that might be. That's a hell of a PB. A lot of people don't have 15 <laughs> to their name. <laughs>